Hey guys, I'm back uh, doing the last little bits of finishing here so I can actually use this thing. There was a lot of spots where it wasn't waterproof still. and I uh, There were some holes down at the bottom here. I assume that must be from ex for some accessory. Didn't have anything to fit it good, so I just put some tape on the outside and then uh, uh, put a big gob of uh, silicone on there. Put some more silicone around the screws. It's just a clear as you can't see it, but I did that. I did this joint back there, basically everything I could think of to help make it waterproof. Got the uh, shipping grease off the table so it's all nice looking. Um, I even got a tool in there now, so I, <laughs> I'm preparing to actually cut something. Uh, oh, and I, I was just mounting the, um, the box for the uh, uh, emergency stop and go button. Um, you have to silicone over those bolts too. Uh, I really, I, I guess if you're totally confident in no leaks, you could put the computer in that cabinet. But I don't like that idea. I'm gonna put the, the uh, flood tank in the cabinet just to keep it out of the way. But I'm gonna put the computer probably. I like. Uh, I'm just probably gonna mount it on the wall over there just so it's out of the way. I've got another computer up there already. I just like to keep things out of the way. Um, oh, and the last, I think I mentioned in an earlier video, the doors were too big. They didn't actually shut. So I took the right one off. I decided I was going to take about a quarter inch off that and then see how those fit up. And then I know the other guys that have already done flood uh, and posted on YouTube said that it leaks like crazy at the front. So I'm going to get the doors on and then figure out some kind of rubber flap system or something just to keep it all nice and leak proof there. And then then I'll feel <laughs> confident. Uh, so uh, the best way to cut polycarbonate, which I think this is, is with a router. I used to rebuild um, arcade cabinets, so I had to cut Lexan to fit a lot, and a router is the best tool uh, for that. A router table, if you have it. But I just use a router, uh, clamp it. You get a very nice, nice edge with a router. And I didn't even mess it up. I took about... Well, maybe almost half an inch off. I went a little further than I wanted to, but I got it off. So I'm going to put this up now, back on the mill, and see if it fits right. All right, stand by. And I've got my door back on, and I'll show you the fit up on that. It's quite nice now. <laughs> Before, they would not shut at all. I took off maybe a hair more than I needed to, but really, it's fine. I mean, there's that piece on the inside anyway. And I already know the bottom's gonna leak, so I've gotta get some, I don't know, maybe, there must be something in the, you know, storm door, weatherproofing aisle at the hardware store. I can get some kind of flap or something to put on there. I know it's gonna leak on the side too. I mean, you can see right through. So I'm gonna do something on the sides and the bottom, and then I should be good to go. I got my nozzle installed. And I'm just keeping my flood tank on the side there. I think that's going to be fine. And while I was adjusting the door, I also went ahead and I uh, carved out a bigger little semicircle there to have that clear. And I think that should, should, uh... oh yeah. Yeah, no problems. It, every now and then it would still catch and it would drive me nuts, so. While I had it apart, I might as well have done that. Um, and I think, other than waiting for uh, the coolant to arrive, I did, I know everyone that, it's all over YouTube, everyone likes the Qualicam, uh, that one version that everyone likes, I can't remember the name of it now, the something cut, uh, so I, there's a distributor like one city over for me, so I ordered some. It should be here in a couple of days, and I'm going to use that. It's that stuff that ends up looking like milky white, but it sounds like I'm not going to have any rust issues. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to be diligent about cleaning it and wiping it down all the time. And if the stuff that came with it is going to cause rust, I don't even feel like running it. I just don't want to have any issues. So, once I've got that, I'm going to actually cut some parts. I've wor worked on making some G-code files. Did a little testing with some engraving. Everything seems to be going so far so good. 
So maybe I'll have some real content to show shortly. All right, thanks guys.